Hey there folks, welcome to Sumit Academy and to my series on English grammar. Before I go further, let me thank all of you who have liked my earlier videos and have subscribed to my channel. A big thanks to you all. And for those who have not subscribed, well, what are you waiting for? In this video, we shall learn about the parts of speech. This is part one of a two-part video on this subject. Based on their use and functions, words are categorized into several types or parts of speech. English grammar classifies words based on eight parts of speech. These are noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. Each of these explains how a word is used. But do remember that an individual word can function as more than one part of speech when used in different circumstances. In this video, we shall deal with noun, pronoun, adjective and verb. The second video will deal with adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. The first part is noun. Noun is the name of a person, place or thing. Nouns often but not always start with one of the three articles a, an or the. Nouns can show position by adding an apostrophe s. For example, Anil's shirt, that is, the shirt belongs to Anil. Proper nouns always start with a capital letter, while common nouns do not. Right, so what are proper nouns? Given names are proper nouns like Anil, Suresh or Thar, Sahara, Ganga, Yamuna, India, etc. On the other hand, a common noun does not name a particular person or thing, rather it refers to a whole class or type. Common nouns do not require capitalization in a sentence. Some examples are whiskey, river, park, garden, beach, car, pizza, etc. The second part of speech is the pronoun. A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. Pronouns are used to avoid repeating the same nouns over and over again. Common pronouns in everyday use are I, me, mine, she, he, it, we and us. For example, take this sentence without pronouns. Sheila told everyone that Sheila will join acting classes. Put in pronouns and we have Sheila told everyone that she will join acting classes. Take another example. My family is crazy, but I love my family. Now, with a pronoun to replace the second time the word family is used, we have, my family is crazy, but I love them. Take the example, the show was good and I loved the show. This can be written as, the show was good and I loved it. Now, let us have a look at the common errors in using pronouns. We will not say him and me are going to a party. Correct way is he and I are going to a party. Let's try another sentence. I and he will dance together. The correct sentence is he and I will dance together. Another example. Take the incorrect sentence. Every parent wants his child to succeed in school. The correct way to put it is, 
parents want their children to succeed in school. Let us now move on to adjectives. An adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun. It tells us more about the subject about of the sentence. They are usually positioned before the noun or the pronoun that they modify. Some sentences contain multiple adjectives. Let's see some examples. It is a hot day. Here, the word hot is modifying or describing the day. Now see the following examples. Give me a yellow banana. Now our adjective is yellow. Keep that books on that table. What time do we depart? Do you have any mango jam? My daughter won three prizes today. Words like circular, curved, flat, square, straight, round, narrow, big, massive, small, long, short, tall, tiny, hard, soft, sweet, delicious, bitter, and tasty. And all names of colors and emotions are descriptive words and are thus adjectives. I hope that now you can identify and use other adjectives too. I now move on to the fourth part of speech and that is verb. A verb is a part of speech that tells about an action or a state. It is the main part of a sentence. Every sentence has a verb. In English, verbs are the only kind of word that changes to show past or present tense. Let's see some examples. Mom, I can run fast. This can also become, Mom, I ran faster than my friends. I jumped over the dog. Let us try to jump over the fence. I was happy at Delhi. Now this word shows a state of being that I was happy. As I said, verb is a word that changes to show past or present. So, a word like write can become writes, writing, wrote or written. Similarly, a word like buy can become buys, buying or bought. While go becomes going, went and gone. Thus, an action or doing word is a verb. I hope that is clear. Another thing to remember is that main verbs express action or state of being. Like, for example, he runs every day or he is the chairman. On the other hand, helping verbs help the main verbs but cannot be used by themselves. Together with the main verb, they form the verb phrase. Now, let us see these examples. He will, he will run every day or he has been the chairman. Well, that's all from me on this first part of my two-part video on the paths of speech. We have covered noun, pronoun, adjective and verb. In the second part, we shall cover adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos. And do write in with your suggestions to Sumit Academy 20 
at gmail.com. Cheers.